morning. Today is going to be a busy day of homemaking. We were gone over the weekend, so it is time to do some catch up, put things away, do lots of laundry. Um, we celebrated Nevaeh's third birthday too, so get some clothes washed that she got for gifts, gifts put away. We just have a lot of little to-do things on my list. I'm gonna write a list here after breakfast was cleaned up, the girls are playing right now. So just gonna get some laundry out of the dryer and start another load that I started last night and just have a day of homemaking and get some things, like I said, clean because it has been so windy, dirt has been blown through the windows and it's just been, it's been an interesting spring for sure. It's not gonna be real nice out. It's sunny, but only low 40s. So we probably won't be outside much today either and windy. I think it's always gonna be windy. So um, yeah, just gonna get some laundry going here and then get my little ones ready for the day after we had breakfast. While we were gone with my family, my sister was able to pick up some local raw honey. I think this one's sunflower honey. For a quart jar, it was $10 a jar. So super excited to have two of those to add to my stock hold since I have some other raw honey I need to use up that I got from the Hutterites too. So that will go down in my storage room. And you mix them all together. So we have to put all the fives in the right spots. Those are ones. When my girls are eating a snack, it is time to make some banana bread. So I just have a recipe that my mom had, and so it's really simple, just three bananas. Um, it's either one stick of butter, I'm gonna do half a stick of butter, and then a quarter cup applesauce, two eggs, and then I'm gonna mix a one and three fourths cup of wheat flour and all purpose flour, and then a teaspoon of baking soda, and a cup of sugar, but I usually substitute either some syrup, some honey, or some cane sugar. So we'll see what I want to do with that and then bake it at 350 for 60 minutes. <laughs> a little vacuuming of the main area and then the two bedroom rugs and now it's time to get some lunch going because 
Blaze will be home in about five minutes and the girls are ready to eat. And um, while Nadia was napping, Nave and I just did some one-on-one -on -one time. Also did a little bit of tasks as well, folding some laundry and such, but I don't have any supper plan yet. I I know I'm gonna do some butternut squash and cauliflower because I have those I need to roast because Nadia will eat those as well. Um, due to our baby led weaning, we try to do some things for her as well, but I don't know what else we're gonna have. So on weekends when I'm gone, my meal plan is kind of out the window. So I need to meal plan for the rest of the week today too. But I'm gonna get our leftover chili and gnocchi out for lunch. Lunch is all cleaned up, girls are down for a nap. I got some supper prepped already. I pre-chopped the cauliflower and the squash and the onions. And I think I might put, oh, I put carrots in there too. And I think we're just gonna have some fish with it that I have in the freezer because fish thaws so quickly. But um, I got the recycling taken out too and the compost taken out. So I think now I might actually take a nap. I don't take naps very often, but it was kind of a long weekend. Um, little ones decided to wake up in the middle of the night so it's something that happens when you travel with little ones so i might squeeze in a short nap here while the other two while the two were little girls are napping and then see what else i need to get done one quick thing the reason we have so much recycling is we've been getting lots of boxes of stuff for our little fixer upper so like we'll have to put the microwave in the blinds are here we've just gotten a lot of other things we've ordered from amazon or menards um, or not menards sorry or am um, home depot and so we just have had a lot of boxes coming into our house lately um, so i got these really cute shower curtain hooks from amazon i thought that was really fun vintagey style that i'm going for and then i got this from walmart I really love it because the rug has some mustard in it, some blue in it, and I thought that would pull in some of that color and it's got tassels. I just put my own insert in there, but I think that's just, this is really adorable. So um, if I remember, I'll link it in the description box from Walmart. Another upkeep thing when you're gone is to check on plants. So I have some of my seed cell trays here. The kale here is really going after it and then the parsley. I have some zinnias in there, which I know they grow really well just in the ground. And then some peppers that haven't come up yet in that seed cell tray. And then over here, my snapdragons are doing well. Broccoli is looking a little iffy. Um, then I have some green bell peppers here. And then just three different types of tomatoes right back here. And then some basil there. And then this we did at my parents's. Nevea actually did this. And so we got some peppers there too and then just a couple other perennial flowers that we have in there so i'll have to keep up on that and put water in here so it um, seeps up into the plants and then i also have these elderberry roots i bought off of amazon there were five in there and they have taken off their shoots are growing so that's really fun i need to add some more water to that and so I'll put those in our yard as well. They do become a bigger bush. So um, we do have a decent sized yard, which is nice. But yeah, just upkeep of plants when you come back from somewhere. Is always make sure you take care of those. So one little miss is up and I got a nice, probably set my alarm for about 20 minutes and I slept for 45. So I got a nice little nap in, but I'm gonna work on a little meal planning. Um, maybe check an order I have that's coming in from some Gurney Seed Company for some seeds I'm gonna get and then um, see what else happens from there. Oh, and make a latte. I turned my espresso machine on. <laughs> and the windows has been a non-stop occurrence I feel like this spring as 
living in South Dakota this year, for two or three weeks straight, we've had winds of 30 sustained to gusts of 50 to 60 almost every day, and it doesn't even die down. So dirt is seeping in everywhere. It gets all over the sills, and I even did my spring cleaning of my windows. So this is what I am doing in some of the windows today. vegetables are all prepped and ready and they'll go in at 400 for like oh, 35 40 minutes so we have some time to wait So we have some Parmesan crusted fish. Well, it's not crusted, just Parmesan cheese over it and garlic. And I just kind of made it up there. And then our roasted veggies. And I decided to do some quinoa as well with that. It has some lemon in it and just water and salt. So very simple affair tonight, but when you don't have a meal plan, it works. 